So, Brother Ati, this, this time we just want to talk about, you know, P.E. I guess we're back. I don't want to bring up these bad memories, if they are bad, about uh, the struggle, as, is, as they say, or the bad or apartheid days in, 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 in yeah, P.E. They are, at least sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like talking about them. Mm. Mm. But when it started around there, there was this bridge at a station whereby it was divided into two. Mm -hmm. One side is for the Bandus. Mm -hmm. The other side is for the white people. This was a train station? Yes, yeah, train station. Mm -hmm. But we cross, you cross the bridge to the factories on the other side of the railway lines. Uh -huh. Get it? That was in New Brighton. And actually, every station had a bridge that crosses whites and blacks. Oh. And uh, during the struggle, it was, uh, we were told to, we must go and we walk on the other side of the whites as well. Mm. <laughs> then there wasn't the South African police only. There were the railway police and the South African police. <laughs> and the railway police are you know, they take care of the railway stations. Um, hey, they'll fuck you up, those boot boys. They were, they were, they, they were, you say they were more vicious than the, than the, than the South African police? All, all of them are vicious. They were not better off than any other police. Hmm. Because I'm coming to the South African police because these were busy with the stations mm. yeah, they took care of what's happening at the stations there. Mm. Yeah, yeah it was then then we were taken to after being beaten to hell mm. even now i've got uh, what can you call it pains mm. around my because of being beaten with those buttons kicked around and you know, punched mm. and then lock you up for some couple of days uh, sometimes they, they just drop the charges. Mm. Then you come over to the South African police, whereby there was this, not the ID we've got now, it was called the Dombuk. The do Dombuk. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, okay, <laughs> how, how do you spell that? D O O M, it's, Af it's an African, African word. <laughs> D O O M, Tombug. Mm. It's for you, you are a Tomhat. They used to call us Tomhats. Stupid. Stupid, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Tom means stupid. Mm. Yeah, a stupid Tomhat. <laughs> <laughs> so we carried that, uh, it was a sort of a reference book, but it was called Dombu. Because even if a police comes there, it says, Tombug. Mm. You must produce the tombo, and if you don't produce tombo, you're highly in trouble. And what, what were the references in this? Uh, it's a reference book, book that uh, show your identity. You had a picture in it. Yeah, there's a picture. And then even though my, my my number it was two seven eight, I still have it here. Let me just show you. you. Don't mind. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You don't mind if I show I still have no, it. No, go ahead. I'm gonna keep the camera real close working. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. No, shouldn't I worry about it? Nah, go, okay. go, go, go. I, I took my. No, no, get, get the double. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to my. Go ahead, So, go ahead. So, how do you know Mr. Ati? I know Mr. Ati through my aunt and my other people of my family. They usually come here and then they visit and then when he wants somebody to send to the shops and then they go to my house and then they ask me to, to go to the shops and then like I'm like a child anywhere I go I said okay I help them out and then I go to the shop and I come back so I end up like coming here constantly mm. and then when I find out we are showing the same claim mm. so now to me he's a grandpa to me mm. because my grandpa's Clan name, we are sharing the same clan name with the grandpa. It's Mbondom mm. Yeah, so we know each other from then and then until now. 
So, so somehow you're related to Mr. Ati. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did you did you did you know this is like your grandchild here? You're related. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why. But this comes out. This is a new one. There was an old elder uh, uh, old before, one. an old one, which was a little bit smaller than. And then they came with these ones. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> this is a. This is what year did this come out? That's right. Um, this uh, came about in the sixties. This is the sixties. Mm -hmm. so the sixties. Uh, I see you got the Cisco stamp there. So they had to stamp you when they you They had went? to stamp this one. When I came around to the sea sky in 80-something, 80 82. Hmm. That's my father's. It's also stamped sea sky after. Oh, you have your father's also? Yeah. Wow. Father's here. Oh, a handsome man. Very. Yeah. Very. And a very good man. Mm. But he could move a man. <laughs> Very good man, and he could move a man. <laughs> uh, he never beat, wanted he, trouble. You know? beat anybody up. They was... If you start trouble with him, he just, he just tells you, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> you <laughs> fuck me up too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now here you are in, with, in the factories in Port Elizabeth. Uh -huh. That cross, uh, the, the, the bridge is used to cross to the factories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what, what Actually kind of, every station had that uh, yeah. segregation. But what kind mm -hmm. of actions did you take to resist, you know, this kind of system back then? What? That's the, we've got to walk on the other side as well. So you just said, Oh just, we're not gonna listen to the rules. To the, 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 hmm. On the other side or on the other on the white side. The white side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we get you get arrested for for walking mm. on the other side, on the uh, white side. So how did that change? When did that change? Mm, recently. Not very long on the... Mm. No, it just changed on the 90s when we got the, the freedom. Mm. Dom, dom. Yeah. And the Dom Pass. Dom Pass. And these books were off. We could, so they came I with didn't. the... Mm, mm. They came with the IDs. Mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm. Mm. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so things, so that's when things changed. But, but did you have a rough time when, with, with this thing? Or, I mean, aside from being beat up all the time and being arrested all the time, but what else happened? How did you manage to get through all that? I mean, how did you manage to keep your sanity, I should ask? Well, I'd say the youngsters. <laughs> what do you call the youngsters, teenagers and uh -huh. all that, yeah. Well, they started now burning. There were shops in New Brighton, Jewish shops, and uh, most of them were Jewish shops. And there were two... Um, was it English? Perelson, Perelson, I think, is an English. Yeah, and uh, one was a bull boy, Roberts, yeah. They were all burned down. And we had a bicycle, you know, a bicycle. Uh, yeah, for movie house. Uh, yeah, it was owned by a Jewish boy, and it also was burned down. Mm. That was in 1952. You can just remember properly the month. Yeah, it was 1952. It was bad. Things were bad. And again in 1976, they burned down the coast. After that, they built up this, all the, the shops. Anyway, the, the Jews and the land moved out of New Brighton. And they came with the bars to sell liquor and all that. Mm. One was built in New Brighton, one in Zakele, and one in Udnik, and all. they also burned those down. Mm. Mm. That was in 1976. So they, they replaced shops with, 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 with uh, liquor, with, 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 with alcohol? That's right. Uh, well, do you think that was deliberate? To, to, to it was deliberate because they wanted us to be more stupid. 
by putting us on the drinking side. Mm. And they really warned about that. For some couple of years, people were drinking so much that and it's an every, almost every six months, there's a new type of uh, alcohol pr brought in, which was stronger than the first one. Mm. So that you can be, become more dumb hearts. <laughs> more stupid. Mm. More stupid. Would the, did anybody resist that? Would, would the people just went along with it? What, what no, happened? that's where they came out now and bent this. Not she means the bars. The bars yeah. yeah. They bent down the bars and all that. <laughs> wow. Well, it was the teenagers. It was it only youth. Yeah, the youth. Mm -hmm. Bend is, uh, they were now the people mm. who took over, you know, where. Uh, well, what, what was the relationship between the youth and, 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 and the adults? What, what, what's, uh, did they see eye to eye? Did they say you should with, burn the, with the youth and the, and the adults? Yeah. Did, they, did they say, oh, you yeah. were right in burning it down? Did they, did yeah, they, what, what was, there was combination between the adults and the youth. But because we can run faster than the youth, mm -hmm. they did it and they said, no, the, 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 the elderly must stay at home and we are going to do the job. Mm. And they did it. Now in 1952 they did it. They burned down those stations, those bars, those shops and everything. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious because it's 52. Now I know uh, when the Sabukwe did the past, the, the whole thing with the past laws and the burning of the books, that kind of happened in 1960, right? Or something like that? When did that come? When Magnus and Robert Sabukwe. I think that's like that, uh, 1976, we burned down the books. So that's, the, that's, the, that's the schools, or, or the past books? Past books. Yeah, but that's these the, books. These, yeah. these, but that was, you saying that was the 70s? Okay. Yeah, that's the same as these, yeah. Well, I think the first ones were burned, you know, more especially women. Mm. They encouraged these books to be burned down women and we joined them and, that, that was and we banned the first ones that was in 76 no yeah. that was before 76 and uh, just a little bit after 52 mm, okay. mm -hmm. i just can't remember the no no sorry the it's and all that yeah. it's fine i'm i'm, I'm uh, look, I, when I get to be your, in your state, I want to remember too. I, I can't remember things now. <laughs> There's quite a lot, but I can't remember all these things, you know. No, I, just, I was just interested in that, that, that's, that's, You know, sometimes they take you, they take you to jail and after being beaten anyway so that you can cough and tell who's the main guy. Mm. And uh, they'll send a white guy to come and call you. And he doesn't call the name properly. Mm. Yeah, you told me about the last time. Yeah, if it's Mwiselo Chunungwana, he'll call it the other way. Nambinzeli, Nen Chunungwana. No. <laughs> you don't know that <laughs> they call they're calling you, and after a couple of hours they come back and said we we calling you. They they come with a black guy that calls you now the right way, mm. and said we were here and calling you. Why didn't you punch you? Mm. Do you think uh, you no? Know, even in today, it seems like the police take some sort of some of them uh, take some sort of joy in. Uh, uh, punishing people or hitting people or pepper spray, whatever they're doing to people. I mean, did you think, I don't know, the, the people, was he, was he police sadistic? Or do you think that they got a joy out of beating on people? Or what? I think they did enjoy this because the poor boys were really, really enjoying it. They were really, really enjoying it and said, we're going to give you a lesson that you'll never, never uh, disrespect the white guy because he'll just come and say Dumbok and while you're taking the Dumbok out 
He just punches you. You know, you must be fucking dog. When I call you a dumb, you must be quick. No, no. What for? Really, that, 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 that's just, you know, feeling like fucking you up. And some of them, that's just said it. They said, we gotta beat you that you know that a, a white guy is your superior. So uh, I guess uh, they, they thought that by fear or by beating, they, they, they could make themselves superior? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did it work? But they, they didn't work. It made people worse. They fought back. Do you they fought back. I don't. I know you may not know this, but I'm just asking the questions. Uh, do you think they took their 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 work home with them? In other words, do you think that 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 it was worse for them in their own community with their wives and their children or whatever it is? You know, they took it home because I remember one time <laughs> passing a street, and this young girl came around and said, "What is it? Hey, cover!" I tell them, no donor, meaning, it's a young girl like that, meaning, I'll fuck you up now, kafir. Mm. Then I chased her, and he ran away, went to the twist, and he uh, was not far from home, mm. saying, I'm going to tell that papa that this kafir is mooring me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So, they were indoctrinated, so they must know that a kefa is a kefa mm -hmm. from childhood. Which means they enjoyed it because they come and speak that of murte kefa at home mm -hmm. to show that I'm superior than a kefa. Well, let's just jump to the present. What, what do you think, how do you think this whole thing affected not only, you know, the uh, you know the population, the, the the larger population, as well as the people that think they were superior. How does it work out today? Do you what has changed? What do you, what do you? I don't see much change because they, it's just that uh, they don't call your name. They they they, <laughs> they can't do otherwise. The majority still of the whites still haven't changed. They have the uh, mentality that they think they're superior mentality. Uh, they, they superior it's mentality. just that they can't do otherwise. They just got to follow the one in Rome to as a Roman does. So they say. Well, what, what about some of the, uh, some black people? Do you think the black... Some people say that uh, some of these black people are trying to be superior also. They're, they're you know... Oh, well, uh, how can I put it? I think, personally, some of those people are just to be it's greediness, the greediness of power and uh, money. He doesn't think any other way. He just wants to be rich and he wants to be respected as a big man. Yeah. To me, mm. I don't know. What the other people do. It's is, what this, I think. is this just a man thing, or do you think what's happening with the women? I remember you said the women started something that, that the men finally picked yeah, up. Yeah, they went to the, the, these dumb books yeah. and all that. And, and I'm talking about now. What do you think the women's position is now? Uh, women are to. How can I put it? They are too bullied. Uh, Bullying to men is because they want, as uh, how can I put it, that. Uh, I try too much. Same powers. They want the same powers as men. What do we call that now? Uh, equality or equality? Or, 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 I want that. Yeah, they want the. They want to be equal with men, mm -hmm. by which. With our customs, women are not equal with men. And with me, really, they can do everything that a man can do. Like digging a hole. Like picking up a, 
heavy, uh, what do you call it? Iron. iron, heavy iron, to pick up a heavy iron, which a man can do. And I don't know whether we were created or, <laughs> how can I put it? Mentally, men, I don't think women are equal mm -hmm. with women. I don't know whether you understand what I mean. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So the so so we have culture versus uh, versus whatever the world thinks they are, are today. Right? That's it. And every time the, every time you see an example of a woman who can do like a man, they try to blow it up like a lot of women yeah. can do that. When that's not a true. lot of just, exactly. only a few women because can do it's that. Only one out of a thousand that can do what a man can do. Mm -hmm. So uh, with me, I don't know with other people, but with me, it's only one who, out of a thousand that can do what a man can do. And vice and versa. There's only there's, with men. There's some men who can't do what men can do, but they can do what a woman they can does. Do what and that's a one out of a thousand and ever. Exactly. Exactly. So there has to be some sort of weird balance, or not weird, but some mm -hmm. sort of balance mm -hmm. for the society to move on, for the, for the move culture. On. That's right. To, to, to. That's right. Okay. Okay. They report the culture, so whereby the lady they can think they can be same as men because in in on in on our culture, a woman knows. Herald and the man no herald mm. because if a, wo a woman can't go to a crowd. She know that I'm a woman. I can't go to a crowd there. Only men who go to the crowd. But these days they know I'm a woman. I can go where I can do whatever the men can do. They can go next time. They will want to slaughter some cows. That's because what they are trying to create. They are trying to create our culture whereby we won't know what is right and what is wrong. That is what is happening. Because a lady, it's a lady, is supposed not to wear a trouser. That is this equality. Exactly. This equality thing, because they are not supposed to wear a trouser. It's a lady thing. They're supposed to wear a skirt or a dress. It's a cultural thing. When they tried to kill the culture, they said the ladies, they are also allowed to wear jeans and the, and the, and the shorts. It started there. Yeah, the, the moment they tried to, to, to kill the culture, they are trying to be equal with us. Our culture is dying because of that also. The respect is is fading in our community. Mm. You know, most of our women have taken more of this civilization mm -hmm. and dropped the African culture. Mm -hmm. And if you can see, most of these women are more almost European Style because they are hair, they want, they want to put no new. Brazilian hair. <laughs> these uh, makeups, they, they overdo the other things, you see. They go so far to the other side. That's right. Well, do you think that at some particular point, some people will, will there be a movement to regain the culture? In other words, things will shift back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because uh, really, time, times change, and it's difficult to move back. Everything is going forward. Mm. Okay, thanks so much. We'll we'll continue this another time, another subject. Yeah, because I might think of other things, you know, more to put more. Yeah. Mm. Okay.